Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. So it's really exciting, we get a chance to work on our 2015 Winnebago. This is a top of the line RVs, and as we could, we were able to find out in California with our parts one, yeah, these things are definitely put together, welded with steel tube. It's not that, you know, cheap aluminum stuff, so some good heavy duty things, so there it is. We actually have a camping trip coming up, so we gotta go ahead and finish this thing up, get it back together, since we have all the good parts, and it's getting colder now, so we gotta beat the weather, beat the time, and get this thing done. So a lot of work ahead of us. As you can tell, this thing is definitely a project. I'd say one of our biggest RV projects that we've done so far. We've done, a, we've done a good bit of RV projects from burnt to hit to front ends replaced. So just never a Winnebago before. So we kind of took one apart. We kind of know what's going on with them. A little better feeling, I would say. But yeah, check it out. The damages are severe on this side. Driver's side, not so bad, I would say. Engine hopefully is not touched because this I thing mean, does run and drive. Yeah. So that's good. Maybe a little bit of framework. Hopefully, hopefully not. But look at this side, it's accordion in. I mean, this whole floor. Well, that's all we got the floor, because we needed the floor. Right, and that's a steel tube, big old floor. I'm surprised it buckled like that, so that probably was a pretty good size hit on this side right here, so. Yeah. Good thing we had the pieces, though. So today's game plan, we gotta take everything apart. We gotta take the dash apart, the seats out, the carpet, and uh, start messing with the firewall, see if we gotta pull that out. A lot of work ahead of ourselves, so we gotta get straight to work and knock this thing out. And just like that, our dash came out. Good news, bad news. Good news is we have somewhat of a dash. Bad news, it is cracked, and we do need this one. Ours is burnt, so we don't have a you know another dash to go. So definitely, we're gonna try to fix this one because I don't know how long or how expensive it would be to get one of these. Well, luckily we have a plastic welder guy. Basically, that's what he does. He fixes bumpers, front bumpers, all different types of plastic. He's got a special soldering, something, something staple. So we're just gonna basically drop it off to him and hope we can do his magic and get this thing repaired and then some body work probably and paint and hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll see how it looks maybe we'll wrap it we'll see how it looks because he does a good job yeah. let's go check out the whole dash oh yeah all right so we're gonna basically start peeling back the dash you can see a frame that held the dash itself, it's kind of bad, but luckily we do have the metal structure behind it. And then just gonna keep digging into it and see what's broken, see what's not broken, see what we need to replace and what we can take out. But luckily we have, most of the wires are there. It's kind of, kind of where it needs to be, honestly not too bad. So I think once we get that frame off and see all the other hidden damage, but yeah, it's going right along.
So just like that, we pretty much got half the firewall cut off. I mean, it was already broken, so it came out pretty easy, a couple more cuts. But the next thing I wanna do is actually start working on the top, because we gotta check out the frame over there. And then we could probably work on the floor. So let's get this top piece off, take that all apart, figure all these wires, and go from there. So that came off really quickly. As soon as I cut it, it fell right down. But time to get rid of all that junk and it's gonna look a lot cleaner. Already on top, it looks so much better. Basically, just gonna take off this piece since we have one anyway, just unbolt it right there. Nice, clean access. A lot of those wires are like satellite TV, cable TV, uh, DVD player stuff, a lot of junk. Honestly, we don't need no more, but let's go and get this out of the way.
All right, progress, progress. Look at this thing, man. We're basically getting into the house part, but almost there. We're still working on the floor, so we're doing a sectional piece. So we're gonna cut that back side right there, closer to the driver's side. And this whole passenger side is gonna come right out because it's all accordion and folded anyway. And since we have it, it's all like steel tubes, so we're just gonna follow the line where it's at, chop it, and just gonna try to yank it out kind of thing. And hopefully that'll come off, as well as the front piece. Also, we're gonna cut it. So I think that's how they build these things. You know, they have basically the steering wheel, all welded up to the frame and then they just build everything on top around it so we're just kind of reverse engineering it and then we're just going to build back up again just like they do you know factory oem should be good Probably gonna be better hopefully because we'll put a lot more welds on there you know because we're just cautious you know they do it all the time so they know exactly how much we'll just overdo it over engineer it kind of thing but yeah still it's definitely clearing out a lot more space instead of all those wires hanging off in your face so it's kind of sketchy so looking we're, good we're almost there we're no more damage you know that's, that's yeah funny. We're just taking out all the bad. You know, it looks worse as you're taking things off, but you know, just try to get all the bad, 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 and then just bare bone and build up from it. That's the idea. We're not making, yeah, we're not making it up as we go. You know, we're just, we have a plan, obviously. But yeah, let's keep going and see what's underneath behind door number three. All right guys, whoa, look at that. Passenger side floor is gone, popped right out, you know, just like a loose tooth, a little bit of wiggling and yanked it right out. But yeah, the frame mirror looks actually pretty straight back here. It's all sectional pieces, so butt up to that wall. And luckily we have that, so it shouldn't be a big deal. I mean, check it out. It's looking real good. We've seen some, a little bit of cosmetic damage on the engine, maybe a little broken piece here and there, but we have a spare engine. Just in case, we might. So look. should we do like an engine swap or? No, no, no. We're leaving that guy in there. It runs and drives. <laughs> We're just gonna replace little things here and there. You know, this is the easiest way to work on an engine right now. An RV. So we have all the space. All right. So let's work on the front rebar. Yep.
Nice. Ooh, there we go, guys. Had the right tools for the job, and we got it done. Basically, got rid of all the bad parts, kind of all the damage area. A couple more little brackets here and there, but the majority of it, we have it taken apart. Ooh, that was definitely a good day's work. But that's unfortunately all the time we have for this episode. Make sure you guys stay tuned because, like I said, we are going to keep going on this project, knock it out way faster than any other RV. Yeah, it looks bad. I know it's kind of like, you know, wow, look at that thing. But hey, one step at a time, we're going to get it done. Ivan says, don't worry, it's going to be fine, and we're going to get it back together. So, all right, we're motivated. We're going to get it done. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. Catch you next time.